It never ceases to amaze me just how bad most dropshippers are at SEO. Now, don't get me wrong, dropshippers are killer operators, at least the ones I know. They just ignore SEO. The entire stack they run is meta ads, Google ads, and email flows, all powered by VAs. And this can get them to like 50 to 100K a month in revenue generally, but they typically tend to stall out before they either move on to build another brand or just give up altogether. But take this dropshipping brand, for example. Uh, who I helped grow from 3000 a month in SEO revenue to $315,000 a month in SEO revenue. And across all channels on the same timeline, they went from having $50,000 months to $1 million months. And it wasn't even hard, really, it wasn't. Their competitors just weren't doing SEO. So it was incredibly easy for them to profit off of this, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you the exact playbook you can use to make millions from your dropshipping store without paid ads, just like we did for this brand. I use it for every single dropshipping brand and e-com brand I work with. And I'm even going to share a surprise at the end of the video meant specifically for serial dropshippers. So make sure to stick around for that. All right, let's get into the playbook. First and foremost, you have to find your target keywords. Okay. I'm going to assume you already picked a niche and have an active dropshipping brand. If you're watching this video, now it's time to find the keywords you're actually going to target and sell. Okay. You probably use a tool like Auto DS, Dropship Spy, maybe TikTok to find an exploding market. Then you quickly source your product, set up a Shopify store on like a basic theme and started ripping meta ads, right? This is what all of your competitors are already doing and it's why you're stuck at your current revenue level, right? Trending products are great for a bit, but you need to make sure that people are searching for them over a sustained amount of time, okay? Not like 30 to 45 days. We're talking like year, two year, three years, right? This is going to help you profit for a longer period of time and get really, really good at one brand instead of having to launch 12 brands in a single year. Okay. So let's take an example. Let's say you're drop shipping outdoor furniture. Okay. I know a few people in this space, they're doing pretty well. Um, let's say they're selling, I don't know, outdoor patio furniture sets. All right. As a keyword, patio furniture sets is pretty competitive. And as a drop shipping brand, you have pretty little legitimacy which is gonna make it really hard to rank and actually make money from SEO off this keyword, okay? Patio furniture set, nearly 15,000 searches a month, 79% difficulty. SEMrush places you at needing 110 links on this page to even come close um, to starting to make money off it, all right? So probably not gonna rank for this one. So to sidestep it, you're going to need to target less competitive keywords. Yes, they're less searched for, but they're gonna convert at a higher rate uh, because they're, they have a higher specificity. People who are searching for a patio furniture set plus some variant are far more likely to convert on a keyword like that than they are just at patio furniture sets, right? I literally just bought a couch for my apartment and it took me like six hours to find the right couch, okay? But every time I searched, I got more specific and like more I searched, the closer I got to finding my couch, okay? So you have to target these like very long tail, high converting versions, okay? So outdoor patio set furniture, same example. If I were you running this drop shipping company, I would target keywords like patio furniture set with fire pits, three piece patio furniture set, wicker patio furniture set, seven piece patio furniture set, right? Now, obviously like maybe some of these, not all of these apply to you, okay? Um, but I bet you one of them does if you're a brand like this, okay? But look at the volume and the difficulty comparatively, okay? The volume is fractional, all right? Four and a half thousand, three and a half thousand, two and a half thousand, one and a quarter thousand. The difficulty is also way lower, okay? 22%, 28%, 34%, 29%. Now you have to verify this in search, like actually looking at the domain, like rating and link profile of your competitors at the top of these search results for these keywords. But these numbers are a hell of a lot lower than 79% difficulty and they'll require a lot fewer than 110 backlinks to actually rank for, all right? So way less competitive, way more long tail, way more specific, but a far greater likelihood of you actually making some money with e-com SEO, all right? Number two, optimize every single collection and product page for the target keyword, okay? So you should go find target keywords for every single collection you have and every single product you sell within those collections, okay? After that, add your keyword to each individual page, URL slug, the product slash collection title, which would be your H1, meta title, meta description, first sentence of the actual collection or product description, plus, I say naturally a few more times throughout. That's like once every like 100 words, maybe twice every 100 words. So like, let's say three to five times in total throughout the rest of the description. Assuming you have an image on the collection page and also obviously you have product images, 
use it and all the variants in your image alt text, and then also use keyword variants throughout the description. Okay. So let's say I'm selling like wicker patio furniture sets. A variant example would be patio furniture sets made from wicker, right? Or instead of like wicker patio furniture sets, it could be like wicker outdoor furniture sets or like wicker, you know, deck furniture sets or something like, like something similar, right? Using variant keywords to give Google more context and more understanding about your page, right? Now, if you're dropshipping, you probably started by sourcing the descriptions just as you did the products from the manufacturer. I'm here to tell you, stop doing that, okay? You need to rewrite unique descriptions for each and every product and collection. Um, if you just recycle the same one, you look generic and untrustworthy. People don't tend to like dropshippers. <laughs> Um, you don't have a lot of legitimacy. Legitimacy is like a household brand, okay? You have to compensate for this and override that by writing unique descriptions that essentially like make you look like you're an actual brand, not just a reseller, okay? Um, if you're not doing this, it's definitely part of the reason you're stuck, okay? If you're using the same description as someone else, the supplier, they were there before you in terms of, well, one is a company, but really in terms of search, okay? If you're using the same description, you will never outrank your supplier, Simple as that, okay? They were there first. It looks like you're quite literally plagiarizing them to a degree, all right? Now, write new ones, optimize them properly based on this framework, okay? I guarantee you, you're going to start ranking higher and you're going to unlock that new revenue level you've been hunting. Number three, create blog content. Look, blogging is one of the least exciting parts about SEO, especially as a dropshipper. Probably not all that stuff about writing a blog. You think you're too good for it. I'm telling you you're not. Blogs will help you literally manufacture cash through SEO, okay? For every single collection, create five to 10, maybe more blogs around each of them. Then build internal links from each blog to that target collection and also between each and every blog in that same like cluster of five to 10 or so, okay? Cover topics that are specific to that collection, okay? So same thing, same example, right? When does patio furniture usually go on sale slash when's the best time to buy it? How to keep it clean? Do I need to keep it out of the rain? These questions are like very common. People ask them all the time. Hundreds of people ask them all the time, which lead, means potentially hundreds of people you are going to be reaching as customers if you rank number one for this, okay? What is the best material for patio furniture? If I'm selling wicker patio furniture, I definitely wanna cover this particular one because I can go out and say why wicker is better than metal or whatever other material is out there, right? You can use these as points of leverage to explain why yours is better than other people's. Okay, write all of these blogs, build internal links properly and profit. Okay, I've got a full full guide on internal link building on my YouTube, go check that out, link will be there. And last but not least, number four, build backlinks. Okay, there are several ways to build links. The fastest and most cost-effective way is to leverage your network, okay? Every dropshipper I know owns multiple stores and definitely runs in circles with other dropshippers, okay? So, the best and the best ones I know do both. Okay. They have like five stores and they have like five friends who all own five stores. It's 25 stores. Okay. You can set up backlink exchanges between you and your homies. So you can quickly build like five to 10 to 15 and up to 25 links for free. Okay. After you've done that, spend some cash on links. Okay. You don't need a rental Lamborghini in Miami, Dubai, whatever. You're going to drop four or 5K on a dinner or a Rolex, just pour it into backlinks and you can buy yourself like 10 Rolexes down the fucking road. All right. Guest posts, link insertions, PR link building, all are better ways to use your money to make more money, okay? Now, I use this exact same playbook for every single dropshipping brand I work with, including the one I showed you at the top that it took from 300 or 3,000 to 315K a month. Uh, it works so well. So I put some together really designed for dropshippers. It's a dropshipping SEO community. It's called Five Hour SEO. It's five hours content. And then from then on, it's five hours a month of implementation to actually like give to SEO. That's it. And you can delegate most of it to your team with the videos, SOPs, and templates that I actually provide in the community, as well as the one-on-one -on -one coaching you get. Link below. Peace.